Austin's Formula One race is in jeopardy right now. Today, we learned construction was halted on the F1 track in southeast Austin, and the state is refusing to give F1 any money in advance of the race. KXAN's Roger Wallace is live in the studio with more on these developments. Roger? The race was scheduled one year from today, or rather this weekend, but a dispute between U.S. Grand Prix partners has led to the suspension of construction of the Circuit of the Americas track until a contract assuring the F1 U.S. Grand Prix race will, in fact, be held in Austin, supposed to be starting in 2012. Promoter Tavo Hellman holds the F1 contracts for the U.S. Grand Prix race, not the track. That's where Bobby Epstein comes in. He's a founding partner and is the primary investor in the Southeast Austin land. So far, the contracts have not been transferred over to the track, which has caused the delay and now suspension of construction that employs more than 300 workers daily. F1 CEO Bernie Ecclestone expressed his concern over the weekend at a race in Abu Dhabi that he had doubts the 2012 race would happen because of this dispute. In a statement today, we have spent tremendous resources Sources preparing for the Formula One and MotoGP championship races. But the failure to deliver race contracts gives us great concern, says Epstein. Now, Full Throttle Promotions, headed by Hellman, just released this statement saying, after years of effort in getting F1 to Austin, Full Throttle Productions and city, county, and state officials have done all we could do. It is the responsibility of the Circuit of the Americas to bring it across the finish line. For the sake of everyone, we are hopeful that they can reach an agreement with Formula One. Also today, Texas State Controller Susan Combs said that no state funds will be given to the F1 event in advance. The original plan was a $25 million payment from the Major Event Trust Fund, but now an application must be submitted after the race to be considered for that money. Leslie?